The prying eyes of foreign journalists are back on the streets of Syria's capital, but the government is still at the steering wheel. We asked to be taken to the scene of a recent and reportedly bloody demonstration in a Damascus suburb. They agree. At this traffic intersection, hundreds gathered two weeks ago between the gates of the local government office and a popular mosque. As the Muezzin utters his call to prayer and it's cars and vehicles that throng this roundabout, not protesters, there's obviously been something of a clean-up here in the past two weeks. But the fact that our government escorts have brought us here at all shows, if not a change of heart, then certainly a change of strategy here in Damascus. We're introduced to town elders in Douma who swear their loyalty to President Assad, blaming outsiders and terrorists for fermenting the violence. They're waiting patiently for their future, their lives. This man tells us it wasn't a government bullet which killed his son, but one fired by a protester. As the crowd around us swells, a bystander approaches nervously and goes off message. This is just a play put on for you, he says. If you want to know the truth, you need to hear another opinion. All the people here are organized to say they support the government. His intervention provokes an angry outburst. He's told by several people to be quiet, but the man persists. Aside from the government story, we were there that day when the protesters... This state TV journalist says the rhetorical divide is now so wide, it's difficult to divine the truth. We have the supporters of the government who are very passionate. They believe that the government is doing the right thing, the government has done nothing wrong through the 100 days of protests. And we have the other side, protesters, who feel that they have been dealt with great injustice. They feel that the government has killed people from, like uh, in the demonstrations, civilians. And they believe they were always unarmed, they were very peaceful, and they were like killed, tortured, and taken yeah, to jail. Uh, he, he, he said Wherever we stop, we draw a crowd. A few people shout, go home. One warned, don't believe everything they say. Our presence provokes opposing views in a city where the omnipresent president is impossible to ignore. Robert Nisbet, Sky News, Damascus.